Well, when we got the position here at um, uh, the Dixie Stampede, um, that's what we were asking is ourselves, uh, what are we going to, what, what's our name going to be? And uh, uh, they said, well, we're, due to the history that's around here, everything is uh, White River. So they did some research and uh, so they decided to call us the White River Wranglers. And it does go with the theme that they have here at here at uh, Dixie Stampede. Originally from Oklahoma, uh, a lot of our music began when we were just very young. I was 10 years old when I started on the banjo and uh, our dad actually took us to a music festival. Um, the first one was in Langley, Oklahoma and then we went to Hugo, Oklahoma and. Uh, when we were there, we visited some bluegrass festivals. Um, at the age of 10, I saw the banjo and I wanted to learn how to play the five string banjo. Uh, my oldest brother, Paul, he had to play the guitar. Because at that time, uh, we were watching that movie Deliverance. We wanted to learn how to play the dueling banjos. So uh, that's how it kind of started for us. On our mother's side, um, our mom was a full uh, blood native, native Creek Indian. And um, when we were just small, I remember going to, to uh, Creek Nation, uh, playing for Chief Claude Cox at that time. And um, we played for different, different chiefs and we got, we got opportunities down through the years to play for the, the powwow. They'd bring us in for the Creek Festival and uh, we would see, um, you know, some of our own family members out there uh, doing some of the powwow dancing and some of the fancy dancing. And, and um, we got into more of the country bluegrass style music, uh, seeing as what the banjo and the guitar was. And so that's, that's how we kind of veered off that, that direction. But we still have family that are a big part of uh, the, the Creek Festival. When this opportunity came to play for Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede, uh, we were, I remember moving to Branson uh, back in 91, 92. And uh, I just lived just out back here. I remember when this place was first going up, but I, I lived in some apartments just out back and just saw the great big building and Dolly Parton's name. And, uh, it, I always told myself one day, one day, I would love to have a, a job 
uh, here at Dixie Stampede. And, um, you know, we just, we kept performing the different bluegrass festivals, the different uh, um, corporate events, and just over the years, we have went everywhere, all over the United States, into Canada, and uh, just, we were doing probably 125,000 miles in a year's time. And then when we got the phone call to come here and try out for this, um, it was just a dream come true. And sometimes I do have to catch myself because I think, is this really happening? So we're very, very thankful and we're very proud to be a, to be a part of this dinner attraction. Because everywhere we go, everybody says, oh yeah, I know about that place. So in just the whole entire performance from start to finish, it just keeps you on the edge of your seat. So we're glad to be a part of it. I play the uh, doghouse bass. A lot of people call it the bull fiddle. I call it the doghouse because me and my wife go round and round sometimes. <laughs> so I like to call it the doghouse. But uh, as for playing with my brothers, it's you know, it's a blessing. Uh, our dad brought us up in the music industry. My dad was a pastor of an Assembly of God church for a lot of our younger days. And we was the, the uh, music ministry in our church. So uh, that's kind of where we got our foundation was playing those good old gospel songs in church. I would call our career uh, our college. We take all of that, all of our past, and we bring it all and we mold it to this stage that we are in today here at Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede. They like what they saw. That's why they asked us to come here and be a part of this uh, fine corporation. Our dad's side of the family were all musically inclined, and our mom was actually musically inclined. She played the, the uh, clarinet in high school. And I think a lot of that uh, also comes from my mom's side of the family. Um, my brother Steve had mentioned about playing for uh, Claude Cox, uh, the chief of Creek Nation. and. We've been honored to play for different chiefs down through the years at Creek Nation. And uh, they kind of know our name. And uh, it's, it's an honor to get to play for the chief of Creek Nation, whoever it may be at the time. But I, I, our heritage is something to be very proud of. We, we probably would be miserable if we had to work without one another. You know, we give each other a hard time, but it's, a, it's a, I guess you could say a dream come true. And especially now that we kind of don't have to travel the roads, we get to stay right here in Branson and work for one of the finest establishments in the entertainment business, and that's Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede. It's a great honor. And we're humbled, you know. I'm kind of the silent majority. <laughs> you know, uh, we all give each other ideas and stuff, and I make the final say so. No, I just. <laughs> The, great, the greatest pleasure for us is to, to bring smiles to, to the families and people here that come to Branson. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's a great honor for us and a privilege to get to work, work here.
We try to do our very best to uh, represent the Creek Muscogee Indian tribe from Oatmogee, Oklahoma. Um, you know, it's an honor to get to tell people that we are Creek and uh, our mother was full-blooded. We used to travel the Bluegrass Festival circuit all over America and uh, it just feels good to get to stay here, stay home, be with our wives and kids, you know. And uh, really that's, you know, got every restaurant you can eat at around here and uh, we just love it.